I see you, you filthy xenomorph! Tell me your last prayers. Hasta la vista, baby! Today is Monday. Traditionally, Mondays have been a day for exotic xenomorphs. It's hard work discovering new and exotic xenomorphs every single week, but I believe I found one so exotic, it's erotic. Say hello to the spitter xenomorph. W what does he spit? Well, it sure as hell ain't harsh language. No, this nasty little xeno spits acid. What else did you expect? They're spitting acid, man. F***ing acid. Private O'Neill regarding spitters from Aliens Colonial Marines. I have to bleep out the F word because YouTube are sackless. Sackless is a good word. Any slip ups and they attack my channel, even for things that were uploaded 10 years ago, but then Susan Wojcicki Shitsky decided, nah, not today, baby. I'm gonna pre-retroactively strike your channel for something you did 10 years ago, even though it was legal then. I hope you get very hairy on the back and there's no laser treatment that can get rid of it. YouTube, why don't you just make the platform for children? No one over the age of 12 is allowed. I live in fear in case I one day accidentally say shit or cunt or shit cunt here. But it's essential everyone gets a good Xeno education for the impending invasion of the Xenomorphs. So I will continue as best as I can. The Spitter, also known as the Ranger, is a Xenomorph cast that was encountered by Colonial Marines from the USS Sephora on Acheron, LV-426. As its name implies, it attacks by spitting large quantities of acid at enemies, typically from some distance away. The Spitter first appeared in Aliens Colonial Marines and was one of the several new Xenomorph casts created just for the game. Although its spitting attack has been encountered many times previously in the video game and movie franchise. Spitters were first encountered by the USCM Private Jama, who was also the first to be killed by their acid-spitting ability. Poor man. Spitters were subsequently encountered by Corporal Christopher Winter, Private Peter O'Neill, and Private Bella Clarison. The Spitter possesses a head crest not dissimilar to those on Praetorians and Queens, albeit smaller and smoother. Their crest is also dotted with several pouches, apparently used to store acid, that resemble yellow-green pustules located on either side of the cranium. You Xenos disgust me. These pouches are apparently sensitive to damage. One of the fastest ways to eliminate a spitter is to rupture the pouches. Probably all pussy and gooey. Although the resulting explosion of acid can be fatal to anyone unfortunate enough to be caught in its radius. Spitters also possess large axe-like tails, more commonly seen on Praetorians, but they prefer to use their acid-spitting ability in combat instead. The body of a spitter is much more bluish in colour compared to other xenomorphs, and they possess many traits, uncommon to both warriors and lurkers. The paw of a common warrior is very round and efficient for movement and design, whereas spitters possess particularly large claws on their paws. I would not call it a paw, please. Don't say xenomorphs have paws, please, no. Spitters also appear to have an extra rib uncommon in other xenomorph species, making them easily the most unique aliens seen in the origin facility. Spitters primarily keep their distance in combat, hurling acid at targets from afar, and are particularly dangerous when acting in coordination with other xenomorph types that engage with melee attacks. How can they coordinate, man? They're animals! R.I.P. Bill Paxton. They also possess a significant jumping ability that allows them to rapidly relocate to a new vantage point on the battlefield, often making them difficult to pinpoint and kill. They apparently prefer to avoid close-range combat, as they will often be seen to retreat by leaping away if approached. Now to some trivia. The spitter's ability to spit acid is also used by the runner in Alien 3, nicknamed the Dragon, and the clone xenomorphs seen in Alien Resurrection. <laughs> nah, I actually quite like it. In advertisements, multiple class abilities have been shown, including a smokescreen, possibly caused by spores released from the spitter's body, that will bind and disorient enemies. Strange. So it's got the Neomorph ability, caused by spores. In the RTS game Alien vs Predator Extinction, there is a drone evolution that allows them to spit mutagenic acid, and their appearance share many similarities to these xenomorphs. 
John Mulkey stated the spitter's design is a clear nod of the spitter from Left 4 Dead 2 and the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. One of the multiplayer class abilities of the spitter allows it to explode when critically damaged, showering nearby enemies in acid like the boiler. Ah, another exotic xenomorph, the boiler. Can't wait. Unlike other xenomorph casts, spitters seem to lack elongated canine teeth, visually supporting their role as ranged fighters. This trait also separates spitters from the visually similar Praetorian cast. It's worth noting that the spitter xenomorph is never encountered off the planet of LV-426, possibly indicating enhancement at the origin facility. Interesting. So there you have it, an exotic xenomorph for Monday night. Which exotic xenomorph or creature, SCP creature, should I cover next? Please let me know in the comments below, and I might, just might, make it. Until next time, I've been Viral Kira. Subscribe and share and blah, 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 blah. Now onto my Patreon squad. Patreon. If you enjoyed the video, consider Patreon. becoming a Patreon supporter. A For as little as a dollar a month, you can join this Patreon squad panel. Now including a free message. And if you don't want to join Patreon, but want to help the channel anyway, follow these steps. First subscribe, get rid of that annoying banner, hit the bell icon, like, and share. The sharing really helps. And the cherry on top, a comment. That's the rocket fuel that's going to propel the video to a top spot. Well, as close as it can get. So follow these steps and you might as well have given me $5. Thank you. Also, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out my store for some viral merchandise. Okay, I'm done.